this is part two to our adoption story. Yeah, guys, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm blown away that over 60,000 people, um, as of when this video is being made, um, was interested in, in hearing about our adoption. Um, so we left off that, you know, obstacles uh, started to happen on the adoption process. And um, first of all, Everly was born um, April um, of 2020. And of course she had our last name, right? Yeah. Which made Connor even more, you know, I want to be part of the family yeah. is what he was I saw saying. left out. Even He's though he was part of the family, we loved him. We always tried to make him feel special. This was important to him. So I, uh, I, um, contacted the, his biological and and asked to sit down with him and we sat down for about two to three hours and had a really good conversation with just me and him um, and and you know I respect him a lot for making the decision to um, to give me this opportunity to adopt Connor and um, and, and then the process began um, and it took about a year uh, to to have that whole process um, but it wasn't easy. Um, you know, there was things that we needed to get done and things that needed to be done. And, you know, it's quite a process. But on your adoption day, which was April 5th, mm -hmm. 2021, um, we were not able to go to do a traditional adoption in a courtroom. How did we have to do it? We had to do it at the lawyer's office over the phone. Over the phone with the judge. Um, and uh, the judge, you know, um, spoke to us there we didn't get to see the judge or anything like that he just spoke to us over the phone and and we went through the process that way and and, and everything was still amazing connor had a limo pick uh, us up take us to brunch we had a big party that night with all our friends and family and we really got to celebrate um and it was it was special i mean in in the moment connor when you were adopted like what, what were you thinking how did you feel i was just feeling like I was feeling like relieved and happy and just overall just extremely happy and excited. Yeah, um, the emotions were uh, filling the room. Uh, Connor cried. I, I did, of course. Yes, he did. But, okay. He okay. sobbed. I, I may have cried a little bit, a couple a tears or whatever. Bit, okay. Anyway, it was a very emotional time for both of us um, and, and my wife and um, we were just, it was just uh, overwhelming. Um, but guys, we've already put out the video of the actual adoption happening yeah. during the moment, I mean, in real time, and we're going to make that part three. Uh, we're going to reshow that, so you guys have seen part one and two, and now you're going to get to see part three, which is the actual adoption happening um, in real time. So we hope you enjoy.